Hello everyone, my name is Pharmacist Michael, and today I'm going to talk about dementia again and another possible cause. A recent study has raised concerns about the long-term use of a common type of acid reflux medication known as proton pump inhibitors, or PPIs, and their potential link to a higher risk of dementia later in life. The research focused on individuals who were prescribed PPIs to manage frequent acid reflux, stomach ulcers, or other digestive tract issues. Those who used the medication for more than 4.4 years faced a 33% greater likelihood of developing dementia compared to those who did not take these drugs. This study, published in the medical journal Neurology, suggests that sustained use of PPIs might pose a risk for dementia, although it doesn't conclusively prove causation. Acid reflux occurs when stomach acid escapes into the esophagus, often triggered by meals or bedtime. If not managed, it can lead to gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, which may damage the esophagus and increase the risk of cancer. PPIs work by targeting enzymes responsible for producing stomach acid, effectively reducing acid production and providing relief from symptoms. It's essential to note that this study is part of a broader discussion around the use of PPIs, which are widely used by millions of Americans to address various acid-related conditions. Other studies have reported mixed results regarding the link between PPIs and dementia, and some robust reviews did not find significant association between PPI use and dementia or Alzheimer's disease. The study's authors emphasized the importance of patients discussing their medication regimen, including over-the-counter medications, with their healthcare providers. This dialogue helps evaluate individual risks and benefits, considering factors such as age, race, chronic conditions, sex, and the potential for drug interactions. As with any medical treatment, a thorough understanding of the risks and benefits is crucial. The research followed over 5,700 individuals who didn't have dementia at the study's outset. Participants were tracked for an average of 5.5 years, and those who used PPIs for an extended period, at least 4.4 years, showed the highest rates of dementia. The study excluded individuals who used over-the-counter versions of the drugs, such as Prilosec, Nexium, and Prevacid, which have been available without a prescription since 2003. While the study provides valuable insights into the potential risks of long-term PPI use, it's essential to recognize that the findings aren't conclusive proof of causation. The medical community continues to evaluate the impact of PPIs on various health conditions, highlighting the importance of informed decision-making and tailored treatment plans. Doctors recommend the lowest effective dose for individuals requiring PPIs to manage severe acid-related conditions and suggest lifestyle modifications like dietary adjustments, elevating the head during sleep, and maintaining a healthy weight. If you know anyone who might benefit from this video, please send it to them. If you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel for more happy, healthy living information. I have placed several links in the description section of this video to help you be a happy, healthy person. My name is Pharmacist Michael, and like I always say, be happy and be healthy.